you're welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be discussing the principles or canons of taxation yeah in a course unit called elements of taxation yeah there are mainly seven principles of taxation and the first one is equity or fairness equity or fairness looks at equality of sacrifice and not equality of cash payment yeah, equality of cash payment is where the rich person pays 200 as tax and the poor person also pays 200 as tax. That, that is equality of cash payment. And equality of cash payment is not equity. Equity is about equality of sacrifice. Yeah, if I have, if I have maybe 10,000, I pay a tax of 100. And then if a rich person has like... 10 million he pays maybe a tax of 100,000 something like that equality of sacrifice and not equality of cash payment yeah and first is that the same amount should be paid by persons entities that are equal in earnings wealth or other source of tax which is also known as horizontal tax people who are earning the same money should pay the same amount of tax yeah if if we are all earning one like four hundred thousand, we are supposed to pay the same amount of tax, and that's what we call horizontal equity. Then secondly, the contribution in tax should de should increase as the taxable item increases. If my income goes on increasing, like if I was earning. 400,000 last month and they increase my salary maybe to 600,000 my contribution to tax is supposed to increase because my taxable item is also increasing so under equity they say that uh, tax should increase as the taxable item increases and this is called vertical equity yeah Another principle or canon of taxation is conveniency. And convenience says that a taxpayer should not undergo difficulty to pay tax under normal circumstances. Yeah, so the place, media, mode, manner, and time of payment should not be an extra burden to the taxpayer. For example, a person working maybe in Jinja should not have to travel to Kampala to pay tax for business done in Jinja. Yeah, so an office for payment of tax should be created nearby. A taxpayer is not supposed to undergo difficulty or to take extra burden when they are paying tax. That's what we call convenience. Another point of taxation is certainty. A good tax system is one where the taxes are understood by the taxpayers and the tax collectors. The time of payment, reason of payment, amount to be paid should be well documented and certain or known by the taxpayers and the tax collectors. That is certainty. Another principle is economical. Economical aims at ensuring that the administrative cost of collecting tax is kept as low as possible to both the collecting agent and the taxpayer. Yeah, and here the general principle is that the cost of collection and administration of taxes should not exceed 5% of the tax revenue. Yeah, so that the tax system is supposed to be economical. Yeah, you, 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 you do not spend more than you collect. You're supposed to collect more than you spend yeah so the cost of collecting taxes is not supposed to exceed five percent in order for it to be economical another principle is simplicity and this one says that the type of tax and the method of collection must be simple enough to be understood by both the taxpayers and the tax collectors you must be able to understand the tax that you're paying and how the tax is collected. Yeah, because complicated taxes lead to disputes, delays, corruption, avoidance, 
and high costs of collection in terms of time and resources. Another principle of taxation is ability to pay, and this one says that a tax should not take away so much of the item being taxed as to discourage performance or participation in the tax base. Yeah, when you're taxing, you're not supposed to overtax people. If you overtax them, you discourage them from paying the tax. Yeah, maybe someone is earning like 400,000 per month and you're charging them a tax of 300,000. They'll be discouraged. They will be discouraged from working because as if they are working to pay tax. Yeah, so a tax should be lenient, like it should be considerate. Don't take away so much from people. Productivity is another principle of taxation, also known as the canon of physical adequacy. And this one states that the tax system should be able to yield enough revenue for the treasury. And the government should have no need to resort to deficit financing. They should be able to get enough money from the tax system so that they don't resort to borrowing from developed countries. And this is a good principle to follow in a developing economy. Those were the main seven principles or canons of taxation, but we have other principles like elasticity. Elasticity, according to this canon, every tax imposed by the government should be elastic in nature, in that it can change. It can either decrease or increase according to the requirement of the country. If the government needs more income at a time of crisis, the tax should be able to increase, should be capable of yielding more income. Yeah. And when the government needs less income, the tax should be able to reduce. Yeah, so the tax should be elastic in nature. And then flexibility. Flexibility, it should be easily possible for authorities to revise the tax structure. Like the tax structure should be revisable. Then diversity. Diversity, it states that the government should collect taxes from different sources rather than concentrating on a single source of tax. Yeah. It should have various of tax. Then we have political accessibility. Yeah, the tax that is imposed should be accepted by the politicians, politically, maybe by the president and the ministers. Then lastly, implementable, the tax, the tax, the tax like formulated should be implementable. Not the things of maybe we are we are supposed to pay ninety percent tax of the income. That tax is not implementable. So any tax imposed should be implementable. And those are the principles of taxation or canons of taxation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be talking about the categorization or classification of taxes.